plan. The master plan. The master plan. Yes, we we we, yes, get, we, um, we decided to do the wild show upside down, and uh, Chris can start it off. Ah, oh, Chris can start it off. Yes, we'll start go, it we'll upside down. Coffee. Yes, and we'll turn up when we like. No, we 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 turn up when it's coffee time. Ah, oh. and work backwards. Okay, <laughs> right. Well, that sounds a very good scheme, but that wasn't the scheme I had in mind. No, 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 no. That's. I, uh, want, I want to talk about a serious scheme because we've been thinking how we make connections with um, the student radio at the college and mm -hmm. the student radio at the guild, the part of the university, mm -hmm. because we suspect they've got better equipment than we have. That's our ultimate aim, is to see what we could record there that we couldn't do here. Yes, it would be nice to incorporate those because there are lots of radio stations in Exeter and uh, we could do a one big show. We could. Or, or put lots of little clips together. Yes, that's right. So each, each uh, um, studio can do their own interpretation of it. And our starting point, our cunning, the cunning bit of our plan, mm. is to look at student accommodation yep. as a topic. Because we think... Do you think that's the main topic? Well, I think, I th well, t to my mind, it, what comes off from that is um, why, why, the, why the campus is still so important. Because it, yeah. seems, it seems to me Exeter University is very, very pleased with its campus, which is fair enough. It's a very nice campus. Mm -hmm. But I don't understand why they're investing the, so much. Well, I can see why they've invested so much over the last 20 years, let's say. Mm -hmm. But why they carry on like that is a mystery to me. Um, because I think things are moving online. I know they've got courses on Future Learn, and they've got some other courses through somebody else, I think, as well, mm -hmm. which are just paid for. Um, but Future Learn finds it hard to get funding. I think most of the, well, the, apart from the Open University, their funding is coming from an Australian jobs site. Um, what the connection is, how that sort of fits together, I'm not quite sure, but they're the people who can see a potential in it anyway. Whereas the UK universities, I don't, I don't think this is just an issue to take up with Exeter, but altogether the UK universities don't seem very interested in online platforms as an investment. They're, they're still into the campus. And as well as that, they're into accommodation. So some of the accommodation is outside companies, uh, but a lot of it is part of the, part of the university itself. So it's becoming a, a real estate operation. I think that's fair to say. So how, how does that work out in terms of costs? Because as, as they invest in better student accommodation, it seems to be getting more expensive. It will be. It will be very, very much more expensive for the student to come over and study. So I, I don't see why, why they're going down that route. So what do they think about it? Are the students happy with it? We could ask that. Yeah, we'll ask that, yes. We can stop a student on the, pa on the pavement and ask them the burning question. <laughs> do you like to come, come into Exeter to, to do your work or would you like to do it online? So we could ask that of the, of the students at the, at the university, but also the, I think that the college, there's, there's quite a lot of them are doing either foundation <laughs> courses for degrees mm -hmm. or else they're doing... Um, courses that would, would might lead to, to uh, degrees or else apprenticeships or the other sorts of qualification. So I, I just wonder what they think about the, the levels of debt they, they're prepared to get into, yes, for example. Well, you do get into debt and it takes you a long time to pay it off. So I don't understand, I don't understand why they're, they're building these funny things like we went and saw yesterday and, um, you know, on very, very dodgy places to put them <laughs> in the well, long run well this was so this is where the Honnet and Inn used to be it's mm. sort of the roundabout bottom of Paris mm. Street mm. we went past you Chris yesterday we, we, well you yeah. saw us go, going by that's oh, where yeah. we went to explore and it's um, it's a massive building yeah I mean I, I don't think it's unsafe it's just close to, a, to some busy roads that's all yeah it's uh, just, it's noise, that's the thing. I don't know how people can live right in the centre and study something and the, the, about the noise. I'd prefer to be in the countryside myself, or on the edge of Exeter. Yeah, but you drive. Well, Chris, 
I could say you drive me up the wall, but I won't go that way. Um, no, but yes. you, could, you could come into Exeter by train or, or no? You guess yes, the communications. There's, there's ways of doing it. Yes, I don't, I don't think I don't think you you can do away with the the campus altogether, but it's some sort of blended learning. No, as as a, as a, a reporting area, yes, I understand that they need to uh, join everything together in the long in the long term. But um, why come all these hundreds of miles just to do a course when uh, when the internet is now getting so vast, so you know intimate as well? You can do it within one day. <laughs> I don't understand it myself. Yeah, yes. It's out of proportion, isn't it? It is. It's out of context, really. Well, okay. So that's 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 pretty that's pretty good. We've got we've got mm. at least five minutes mm. of something. <laughs> I think I think our, mi- our microphone levels were a bit strange, but we can we can fix that later, perhaps. Mm. Um, I'm not quite sure. My, my microphone seems very low low level. But anyway, if we go to a better studio, yes, <laughs> which we're, no, the Phonics Studio is pretty wonderful. It just surprises us sometimes, and um, we'd just like to see what's available at the college and the university. Mm. Because yes, we, definitely. Sus- we suspect their their kit looks fairly good, but that's not our own re- only reason for wanting to go. No, I, I think it's actually having the communication between everything in this city. Yes. Yeah, this is the communication of, should we say, of radio. We need to you know join up with other radio stations or other networks to see what they're doing yes and they may have a perfectly reasonable explanation of mm. what Exeter's looking like at the moment mm. and think it's quite okay yes I just I just need to know who's painting the picture should we say 